Hi, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the New Line Main Concept Encoder and set it up for a simple encoding session. Uh, I have the installer here on the desktop. You'll see a black screen. You need to run it as an administrator, so I'm going to type in my credentials now. Um, need to accept the license agreement. You can specify where to install the encoder. Uh, there's two services that can be installed. If you're running on a single machine, you would install both services. If you had a machine you were using as a license server, you would install a web service on it, and then you could have multiple encoding machines that would contact the license server. Uh, and on each of those, you would install the encoding service. But on this, in this case, I'm installing both on the same machine. I'm installing the demo version. Uh, if you install the license version, it will also install an application called Code Meter that is used to activate the licensing features of the fully licensed version. Uh, but in this case, I'm installing the demo version. And the demo version does have a main concept logo over the video. Now that it's installed, I'm going to start a browser and go to localhost colon 8080 slash login dot JSP. That will bring up the main interface of the encoder. Uh, by default, the username is admin and the password is also admin. Okay, so I'm going to go to the jobs tab. And the first thing I need to do is add an input source. Uh, you can add a device or you can pull in video from the web. Uh, I'm going to use my integrated webcam for this demonstration. If you had other video device sources, they would appear here. You could select them. So I'm going to save that and close. Then I would select it as the source here. And you can see uh, it's got my webcam, the uh, video type, the audio type. In the slate settings, you can add some video, a file that is played if the source video drops out for whatever reason. Uh, you can add some pre-processing options to the video and audio and select a different frame rate by default. I'm going to use the default frame rate. You can choose to deinterlace or not. Um, you can add closed captions. You can add a logo on top of the video. Um, you can select which channels of audio you wish to use. Um, once that's all set up, you can go to the encoding tab. And here you would specify the video and audio encoding settings you want to use. Um, you can encode to H.264, H.265. You can use hardware encoding of each of them. H.264 is most commonly used for YouTube and Facebook and things like that, whereas uh, some CDNs might want H.265. Uh, for in this example, we'll target YouTube and uh, they would want high profile, uh, variable bit rate. Um, going to keep the aspect ratio and use a bit rate of five megabits. Um, the audio they want, YouTube wants a sample rate of 48 kilohertz. So I'm going to resample the audio to 48 kilohertz. Once you have all the encoding settings set up, you can go to the output tab, saving the encoding settings. Uh, if you're going to stream live to YouTube, you would use RTMP and put in your URL you would use for live streaming. Um, for CDNs, you can use HLS or Dash. You can select the CDN, built-in CDN you, uh, services. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to save it to a file. I'm going to put in a path where I want it to go, and this will be the first part of the file name used. And once that's all ready, you can click the Start button, 
and it will start capturing and coding. You can go to the monitor tab now and look at the samples that are being encoded, the video frames. And we'll let that go for a little bit. See it's writing an MP4 file there. And after you're done recoding, you can go back to the outputs tab and click stop. Now I'm going to go to the recording that I just made and you can see the logo burned in and hear me talking on it. And it will start capturing and coding. You can go to the monitor tab now and look at the samples. And that's pretty much it.